If you've mastered your flossing routine, Slate isn't the product for you. However, if you are more likely to skip flossing than do it, it might be the solution you've been looking for. Starting with what might be the biggest catch here, and that is the price. Compared to a reel of traditional floss at just a few dollars, this is expensive. You're looking at $80 with five refills. Replacement floss heads come in packs of 20 and work out around $1 per head. As a rough guide, you should be able to get around a week out of each refill, so about a dollar per week, maybe a touch more if you prefer more frequent head replacement. This is a more pricey option, but the cost of failing to clean between the teeth can be much higher, so you might well see this as a justifiable expense if it improves your flossing habit. For those outside of the USA, Slate does offer international shipping, but from what I've seen, shipping costs are typically going to be prohibitive. The floss itself is woven from 450 strands. It's made from polyethylene, is Teflon free, and doesn't contain any chemicals. It's very taut and fine. There isn't the same slack as you get with other electric flossers or disposable floss picks. This is good because it's easy to make sure you are getting tight contact with the tooth surface. The negative here is there's less wiggle room and it can be harder to get between the teeth, particularly if you have very tight gaps like me. I found it useful to bite down on the back of the floss head to apply a little pressure to ease it into those tight spaces. I'd like to see a future version with a larger silicone or rubber pad on the back of the handle rather than just the head. I found at times the plastic body was making contact with my teeth, creating an unpleasant chattering sound and unpleasant feeling. When biting down, you need to be careful because being a fine strand, it can, in my opinion, feel a little harsher on the gums. I generally find the wider tape style floss more enjoyable to use. Because the floss is so taut, I didn't feel like I was able to achieve the C shape that is recommended to cut the tooth well and maximize plaque removal. That said, I could certainly see and feel the floss cleaning the side of the teeth, but the surface area cleaned is possibly a little less than I would get using an interdental brush or piece of floss manually. There is no denying that reaching the back teeth was significantly easier. The floss has held up pretty well and I've not had it break on me. There are some signs of the strands can fray a little with repeated use, but not to the point I'm overly concerned. I like the small triangle silicone edges to the head that exist between the floss and the edge of the head. Slate calls them gum sweeps. They act like small interdental brushes with a series of bristles on them. This helps to give an extra dimension to clean as you move it between the teeth and under the gums. With 12,000 sonic vibrations, you are getting a massaging effect and stimulation to the gum you don't get with manual flossing. This is a positive, you can feel it working. It's not silent in use, it produces an audible hum that registers at approximately 63 decibels. The neck of the flosser isn't as thin as some floss handles you can load floss pick style heads onto, but the thicker profile and more angular design helps those with dexterity issues. I found the heads fit well and strike the balance between not coming off too easily and proving too difficult to unclip. The tongue scraper is a nice addition and likely better than those scrapers you get on the back of a toothbrush head. I'm not wearing braces to try, but Slate does offer a specialized head for braces, which is great to see. It's engineered slightly differently to work around the wires and attachments, cleaning around them as well as the interdental space. It's not a big issue for me, it's powered by two AA batteries as the battery life is likely months at a time. They've certainly shown no signs of running down during the time I've been testing it. According to Slate, rechargeable batteries don't fit and therefore can't be used, which is a bit of a shame. The power button on the bottom is easy to use. It's a bit spongy with a satisfying click and feedback. I found it to be a touch less convenient than on the front of the handle like an electric toothbrush might have, but it's not a deal breaker. If you're worried about your impact on the environment, Slate isn't the most sustainable oral care product. However, using it could limit the need for more environmentally damaging dental procedures. Perhaps in time, a recycling program can be initiated or more sustainable materials used. 
There are a limited number of electric flossers like this on the market at this time. The clinical evidence supporting them isn't that extensive but what exists would suggest they can be more effective than manual flossing with improvements in gum health and plaque removal. I certainly can't tell you this is the best flossing product available today or that it is much better than another, but what it offers is a different tool to the options already available. If you struggle to form a flossing habit with more traditional methods and want something more convenient and less hassle, Slate is worth considering.